The Osmo Action 6 is shaping up to be way more than a routine upgrade and you can see that just from the accessories that showed up today. And honestly, I'm really excited to tell you guys about this because today's leak basically dropped the entire lens ecosystem on us, ND filters, a FOV boost attachment, and a macro lens. And this wasn't part of the earlier leaks, the combos leaked two days ago, but this new batch of accessory images really changes how the camera looks on paper. The ND kit looks like a proper ND 8, 16, and 32 set sitting in a super clean, magnetic style case already way more polished than the stuff we usually saw with the Action 5 Pro, and just like the 5 Pro, these aren't bundled with the camera, these are add-ons, you're buying them separately. Um, then there's the FOV boost attachment. With the Action 6, DJI literally wants you to pop off the front and drop on a new optical module to make the field of view even wider. And because the Action 6 has a variable aperture lens this time, it actually makes sense that these accessories sit over the lens instead of relying on digital stretching. And the macro attachment is also completely new for DJI's Action Cam lineup. The Action 5 Pro could never do true macro, even if you shoved the camera right up to your subject. This add-on finally gives you proper close-up capability, texture shots, product shots, tiny details, all the stuff that action cameras have traditionally struggled with. And before you ask, yes, the lens cover comes pre-installed on the camera, same story as the Action 5 Pro. The cover you're seeing in the leaks is basically the stock front that uh, ships with the unit. Two days ago, we saw the standard combo and the adventure combo, and those leaks already confirmed that DJI isn't including any of these ND filters or extra lens attachments with either combo. The standard combo gives you the basics, camera, one battery, mounts, cable, pads, and that's it. No optical accessories. The adventure combo just adds more batteries, the dual mount bases, the extended grip, and the charging case. Still no ND pack, no macro lens, no FOV booster. So just like the Action 5 Pro, DJI is keeping all the optical stuff as standalone accessories. And when you put all of this together, it's clear the Action 6 isn't just a spec bump. DJI wants this thing to behave more like a modular mini camera system instead of a simple wide angle action camera. Speaking of specs, here's what the Action 6 is packing. It's running a larger 1 over 1.1 inch 38 megapixel CMOS sensor paired with a variable aperture lens that shifts between f2 and f4, giving you more control over exposure and depth. For video, you're getting 4K up to 120 frames per second and 1080p up to 240 frames per second backed by Rocksteady 3.0 Plus and Horizon Steady for stabilization. The camera is also rated for 20 meters of waterproofing without any housing, and despite all the new modular lens possibilities, it still comes in at a manageable 149 grams. That bigger sensor alone is a huge jump from the Action 5 Pro, and with the variable aperture plus this whole new lens ecosystem, the camera feels more creator-focused than anything DJI has done before in the Action Cam lineup. So yeah, that's everything we know right now. If more leaks drop, I'll break them down the moment they surface. Stick around and I'll keep you updated. Peace.